Hi everybody, it's Noelia and uh, welcome. It's Wednesday night and I'm here in Homestead, Florida and I'm so excited today to see some of you. I know some of you will be joining us later or logging on later to see it because of the time difference. Anyway, um, right now we're just calling this Art Look with Noelia but I would really love your input. We wanna come up with a catchy, fun name for my weekly um, art series. And we are working on developing it into more of a structured kind of show and going on YouTube um, because I do also wanna do some lessons. So today, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to be doing our giveaway. So we are giving away let me get my stuff. We are giving away this Big Ben watercolor 8x10 print. Um, this is a print of Big Ben watercolor that I did several years ago. It was based on a photograph that I took back in 1998 when I was in London. It was a dark and gloomy day. Um, it was rainy. And it was perfect because it's London and we took this picture and when I started watercoloring a couple years ago, I was looking through my pictures and I was like, it really stuck. I remembered the moment, I remember the time. And um, this is actually one of my first pieces when I first started watercoloring. So it is um, very special to me. Um, and this, uh, I used to sell this print on my Etsy store, sold rather well. Um, so this is the print that I am giving away. So as you can see, maybe you, you, you under, you got a little hint from the intro. We're entering into my favorite time of the year. This is my favorite time of the year. And if you know me, Hey Vero, I can't type because I'm talking, but you know, I love Christmas. And so this is not our holiday uh, special. Our holiday special will actually be next Tuesday. I have my producer, Maya, over here. <laughs> and we're going to have cue cards and everything. Like we're working something up for next week. But anyway, um, our holiday special is going to be next Tuesday. We're going to get our Christmas tree this Friday. So it'll be even more festive. But because it is getting to that time of year, everybody needs to start thinking about what to buy for the holidays and what to buy for their family members. Veronica says she misses you. <laughs> and so this year, I just wanted to give you a thought. You know, I included have bought things in a store for many, many years, and there's a lot of great things we can buy in a store. But a lot of times when we buy gifts for people, they wear it or they don't like it or after it wears out or breaks, that's it. Or it gets donated, which is fine. But what about thinking about giving something that'll last longer, something that will really make people go, wow, that's a gift that I'm not gonna forget. And so with that, what I'm talking about is the gift of art. So. Some of you know that I've been posting, uh, today I just posted my gift guide um, with a selection of my art pieces for different people in your life. And tonight, um, after the giveaway, I'm gonna be showing some of my original art that I have not sold before, but it will be available for sale um, tonight. And then it will go for sale on my website, noeliamontanerart.com. I want to remind everybody that tunes in that we are still running our Black Friday sale. Everything, including original art, is 30% off until this Friday, November 20th. And so that's a big deal because most artists will not um, discount original art. And the only time, hey, Christy, thank you for joining us. Um, the only time they discount is maybe during this time of year. So my live my Black Friday sale is live until this Friday. You get 30% off all original art and prints. Now you might be wondering why we're doing it so early. Well, because if you're buying a print, they need to be printed and shipped. And we all know what's going, around, going on around the world and in the country, shipping times are taking longer. 
Hi, Alicia. Thank you for joining. And because um, shipping times are taking longer, we're running our Black Friday sales early to make sure everybody gets what they want to give as a gift or maybe for themselves early on. So this year, I want to kind of like challenge you to maybe think about buying an art gift for somebody it doesn't have to be from my website there's tons of artists out there but I would love if you would buy something from my store and that's why I'm gonna show you guys you're gonna get first looks tonight of my original art I love the enthusiasm I wish I could write and type at the same talk and type at the same time but before anything else I have to do the giveaway for those of you that logged in now the 8x10 Big Ben watercolor that I had a giveaway going. So I have my little Christmas box. I'm not going to look. <laughs> okay, I got one paper. And let's see who's going to win the print. Dun, da, da, da. We need a drum roll like sound, right? Talking to my producer, Maya, over here about things for next week's holiday special. We're very excited about that. Okay, so the winner is, I have to put on my glasses, nsmos at msn.com. Okay, I don't know who this person is, um, and I don't believe that they are logged on right now. Um, so I will send them an email letting them know that they won the 8x10 Big Ben watercolor print. And if you're watching this later on, Remember, this is available on my website. All right, so congratulations to NSMSN. <laughs> and I will get in contact with them later. All right, so I'm gonna show you a couple of my original pieces. And I just wanna let everybody know that all of the originals that I'm gonna be showing tonight are under $200. Original artwork can be expensive because Apart from the material, the artist takes their time to create this artwork. And the time sometimes is not just the time that an artist spends painting it, right? As an artist, we think about it. We look through photographs, we need inspiration. So part of all of that is the prep work. Sometimes, depending on what I wanna paint, I'll get an idea and it'll be planning on that idea for a week or two. Sometimes it's a lot faster. So um, that is why, you know, artists price their, their work at different prices. So right now my artwork is relatively affordable, especially with the 30% off. All right, so my first piece that I'm gonna show you, I just wanna make sure, this is a watercolor, uh, 12 by nine watercolor of the Dinner Key Marina in Coconut Grove. I painted this back in April of 2018. So whoever buys this gets like the original, not a print, this is the original, with my handwriting and they can see some of the sketch lines. And I painted this when we were staying in Coconut Grove for a week a couple of years ago because we were having some repairs done um, to the house we used to live in. Um, and it was spring break and it was crazy and we ended up finding a really good deal at a hotel there and it had this view to the beautiful marina and i started sketching and then this sketch turned into a watercolor and so i remember that i actually completed this watercolor while we were staying at the hotel so this one is available for sale um like i said at the start of the show if you're interested in buying any of these pieces you can send me a direct message later through instagram or you can go to my noeliamontanerart.com website and click on the tab that says original and it will all be there all right so now the next one the next one if you were at the beginning of the show you heard me say that the London uh, Big Ben print was one of my first watercolors when I started watercoloring several years ago. This was also painted around the same time. And this is Windsor Castle. So if we have any Crown fans out there, woo! I am a big time Crown fan. I just 
like watch the whole season in one day on Sunday. It was amazing. Although I didn't really like this season too much because it was sad because of the whole Diana and Charles thing. Anyway, I'm going off topic. That's another show. But this is Windsor Castle. This was also from, we actually were there a couple of years ago, but this was from a photograph that I took in 1998 of a section of the castle where you go into the entrance. And this is what I decided um, to sketch. I was very um, using the grays and the sepia colors during that time with ink. And so this is, let's see if I wrote down the size. It is a 10 by seven. This is a small artwork, a small watercolor. This is the original on watercolor paper. And it actually has the date. Sometimes I don't date exactly what day I did it, but this one I did. So this one was done October of 2017. Okay, that one is available for sale. And now we have one that if you've been following me recently, I just finished this one. This is view of the Pulteney Bridge that is in Bath, the town of Bath in Somerset, England. This is a beautiful, beautiful town, a beautiful village. We were there, uh, what, two years ago? Mm -hmm. 2019? 2018. 2018. December of 2018, actually, we're there on, Chris, on New Year's Eve. Um, on a tour and it was really cold and we were having cocoa and walking through um, the cobblestone streets and we came upon the back of this bridge because the, the view of the bridge by the front has been photographed and um, painted a lot. But the back of the bridge is just as nice because you have this beautiful river. So this is uh, recent, I just finished it. This is a 14 by 11 watercolor on Bristol paper. Bristol paper is not watercolor paper. It's a different type of paper. There is a big splotch mark, okay? Sometimes these are known as the mark of the artist because you could tell it's a real piece. Um, and I was working on ink and it stained the back of this. But um, this is also available and this is watercolor paint with ink on Bristol paper. That is also available for sale. All right, the next one is Street in Brussels. Street in Brussels is a watercolor on watercolor paper. It's an 11 by 15 original. It was from a trip I took in 1998. I was in Europe and we took this trip and this is from one of the photographs that I took on the trip of a street in Brussels that I later on watercolored. So this is a kind of large watercolor. This is the original. And this is available for sale. Okay, we're getting to the end. Uh, the last watercolor, because I have two acrylics, but the last watercolor that I wanted to show you is this one. So this is in Montreal. We were in Montreal, I think in 2017. In the summer of 2017, we went to uh, Canada and we were in Montreal and this is the street view of a famous church. I'm going to mess it up because I don't know French, but it's the Notre Dame de Bon Secours. Okay, that's it's a chapel. It's a beautiful church and we were eating at a restaurant um, nearby at a little cafe and this is the view uh, from where we were eating. And then what I decided to do is the church had this, um, I can't remember the name of these now, but it had this peak, the, a cupola I think is called, and there was a blue light coming from the cupola. So I wanted to capture that in my watercolor. And because it was, a, it was nighttime, but the stars were out, I, I painted it with the blue and purple background and you could see um, the lanterns in light uh, in white painted. Now, what you probably can't see from there is that there is a metallic watercolor, so it's a little bit iridescent. Um, so it is a really nice um, piece to look at up close. That one is also available for sale. Okay, and I'm getting to the end because I wanted to do no longer than 15 minutes and it's been a little longer. So these are very affordable. These were some holiday folk art that I was painting about a month ago. And these are being sold 
through my Etsy shop. But if you're interested, you could just DM me and I will give you the info. These are $20 each, so very affordable. These are original, okay? Um, once I sell them, I will hang, I will uh, hammer in the hanging brackets to the back, okay? And they are textured, so there's some gesso textured. And then they're acrylic uh, with different designs. I was going for like a folksy art kind of thing with these. So you can get one or you can get two. And they, I kind of wanted, I did it like this on purpose so that they would coordinate if you wanted to put them side by side or put them in a little girl's room or in your kitchen or by your Christmas tree. All right, and so I'm almost to the end of my show. And so I just wanted to show you, because one of the things that I want to do every week is share with you what I'm painting, all right? what One of the things that I'm working on um, that week. So some of you might have seen um, this is like, what am I drawing, right? So this is from a photograph, which later on I will share with you the photograph that Maya took, because these were Maya's self-photographs that she had to take for her photography class. And they were so cool, and I said, I definitely want to paint it. So I sketched out very roughly because I was going for a different look artistically for this. Um, and it had a big shadow. So I want, I dropped a lot of ink on that. And then it has, so it's acrylic with ink. And I started actually with a base of charcoal. This tape is a tape I put around the edges. So when I peel it off, I have a clean line. Although I can tell that there's not a clean line here because some of the ink dripped down. But I'm not done with this. Um, one of the things I'm going to do with this one is, and I didn't have time today, is I'm going to probably stitch uh, with a needle and thread through her hair. I want to do something fun funky here in her hair and maybe across um, here on her body. So next week, I'll show you what this looks like if I've done anything to it. All right, guys, thank you for joining. And I just want to remind you once again that my Black Friday sale, 30% off everything, ends this Friday. You can go to my store, www.noeliamontanerart.com, and look at everything that I just showed you. Um, the originals, remember, are under the originals tab. You can also visit my Etsy shop. If you go to Etsy, if you're familiar with Etsy, it's Noelia Montaner Design all together. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you come next week and join us on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. for our holiday special. It will be fun and hopefully a little funny. Bye. Thanks for joining.